I was dating a Sicilian girl from Flushing's Queens. And uh, the first time I went to her mom's house for dinner, she was over there at their chopping block cutting onions. And uh, she says, you come here, real thick New York accent. And uh, she grabs me by the collar, holds a knife to my throat and says, you have a fuck with my daughter, cut your fucking balls off. She slaps me a couple times on the cheek, tells me to sit down and proceeds to feed me one of the best Italian meals I've ever had. I was working at some terrible hotel in Beverly Hills uh, and I didn't want to be a chef anymore. So I bought a ticket to Italy and I won an apprenticeship at La Vecchia Scuola Bolognese. Six days a week, 12 hours a day, nothing but handmade pasta, pasta fatto mano. We ate it for lunch, we ate it for dinner, we made it all day long. I guess the turning point for me at La Vecchia Scuola was Valentine's Day. The maestro was with me, working with me one-on-one, -on -one, uh, and I rolled an absolutely perfect sheet of pasta. From that point on, I walked the markets in Bologna. I smelled the diesel fuel and the cigarette smoke and the pork fat mixing to this intoxicating perfume that would just penetrate my whole life. The perfect sheet of pasta is fleeting. It's an animal, it lives, it breathes, it sweats. Every day the pasta is different, and every single one is its own fingerprint.